um, yeah, sort of, I don't know. Um, one of those is worth £20,000, three of those would cost you £9,000. No, I think we should. I think we should just go, shall we? we should go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's time for us to it's leave. It's ten grand. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll take the money, will we? It's, it, it's, it's a good result. Final answer. Yeah, because yeah. he hasn't got a yeah. clue and I haven't got a clue. Yeah, no So idea. I think it's time to leave. OK, give him a big hand. They go away <laughs> with £10,000. <laughs> if you... Go on for one anyway. Go on, because otherwise you'll, you'll just... It'll annoy you the rest of your life. If you'd gone for one, what would you have gone for? I'd gone for Joan well, Plough, right? And I've only... No, I, OK, whatever. I wouldn't have gone for any. I haven't got a clue. The right answer was actually Maggie Smith. No, we wouldn't have picked her, would we? Give me a big hand. They go away with £10,000. <laughs> Time now, though, to meet two more victorious Olympians, Christine Ohurugu and Steve Williams. <laughs> Don't so worry, it'll be all right. How are you, Daddy? Hey. I think I said your name right. You did. <laughs> <laughs> OK, get yourselves comfy. As a teenager, Christine played netball for England, but from the age of 16, her love of running began to overshadow a possible netball career. Very soon, she made a name for herself in the 400 metres, and by the time she was 17, she was already ranked number three in the international junior rankings. In 2002, she missed a year of competitive events because of a hamstring injury, but she then bounced back the following year with countless achievements, trophies and medals in the build-up to the Beijing Olympics. All the hard work paid off, and she won the gold medal for the 400 metres event. Christine is here to play for the Sports Aid Trust. And Steve here is one of Britain's finest and most successful rowers. Before he set foot in Beijing, he already had an Olympic gold medal from the 2004 Athens Olympics, as well as 15 golds and two silvers from other previous national and international rowing championships. No real surprise then that he won yet another gold medal for Britain at the 2008 Olympics in the men's fours. Uh, his love of rowing started at school, aged just 13, and by the age of 21 he was competing at world level. And tonight, Steve's share of any winnings goes to live ability. Million pounds are up for grabs, 12 little questions, three lifelines, and as always, they have to agree on every answer and every single decision. Lots of luck for both of you. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Christine, you look absolutely terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one is for 500 quid. In which month does spring bank holiday fall in the UK? February, March, April, May. I think it's May, spring, isn't it? Yeah, May is spring, so. How many bank holidays do you have in a year? There's... I don't know, we don't get bank holidays, we have to row every day. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, OK, you, let's go with me. Yeah, do you, you agree with me? <laughs> let's go with it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we'll go with me. It's the right answer. <laughs> you got 500 pounds. <laughs> no, because I'm born in there and I'm a spring baby. Yeah. all three lifelines. This is for £1,000. Which of these people would be most likely to use a polytunnel at work? Electrician, artist, surgeon, gardener. I have never heard of a polytunnel. No, neither have I. Ask the audience. Nothing we should ask the audience. Ask the audience. Yeah. I think we'll ask the audience. OK, right. Let's make sure Double Sean get you to £1,000 at least. <laughs> Audience, on your keypads, please, this is the question. <laughs> Which of these people would be most likely to use a polytunnel at work? A, electrician, B, artist, C, surgeon, or D, gardener? All vote now, please. Seventy-eight percent say gardener. Oh, right. Twelve percent say electrician. Ten percent surgeon. So go to the audience, gardener, because 
Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah? Go, okay, we'll go Gardner. Final answer? Yes, final answer, Gardner. It's the right answer. You got £1,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, easy. <laughs> So you've got £1,000 and you feel a lot better. You've still got a 50-50 and you can phone a friend. Have a look at question number three. This is for £2,000. Which X Factor contestant's 2007 hit single was called Bleeding Love? Ray Quinn, Leona Lewis, G4, Andy Abraham. Okay. Do you know your X Factor? Yeah, it's Leona Lewis. Sure. Yeah, we've got okay, I trust you. Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. Right it's the right answer. You got £2,000. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a popular music one. I don't want to know. <laughs> Question number four is for £5,000. Let's keep this money going up. You still have 50 50 and phone a friend. Here it comes. Which club won the 2008 FA Cup? <sighs> Cardiff City, Barnsley, West Bromwich Albion. Portsmouth. You, was it Portsmouth? Again, I don't know. I'm, oh, I, don't I know, know there was a few surprises last year, but I kind of thought Portsmouth, but I, my knowledge of football is very bad. I don't know anything about football. Why do you think Portsmouth? I don't know. It just it just jumped out at me. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we could do 50-50, and then if, if we're stuck with. But I don't think that's going to tell us anything. No. Because we, we, we wouldn't be able to eliminate any of the other any three. The others, yeah. So it wouldn't help us. If I had to pick a friend, I'd go with Gordon. Yeah. Uh, you know, he writes all those quizzes, so you'd Would hope. Would you know? Well, you'd hope so. Who's Gordon? Uh, Gordon uh, is a friend who uh, does uh, quizzes for us when we're away on training camps, just to you know, pass the time. So would you know this? Yeah, I'd hope so, yeah. OK, then. That's, okay, let's phone Gordon. Yeah. Uh, Steve, presumably you'll talk to him. Uh, see what happens. Hello. Gordon. Hello. Chris Tarrant, good evening. Evening. Evening, how are you? Very well, thank you. Very well. Well, now, so I've got Steve and Christine here. Um, yes. They're stuck on an early question and they need your help. An early question, oh dear. Well, no, 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 it's, it's for £5,000. So, oh, fingers crossed, Steve, 30 seconds, good luck. Your time starts now. Hi, Gordon. Which I club did. won the 2008 FA Cup? Cardiff City, Barnsley, West Bromwich Albion or Portsmouth? Portsmouth. Oh, I'm sorry. It's OK. <laughs> OK, thanks, Gordon. All right. Cheers. Cheers, Steve. Bye. Nice one. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, don't apologise, it's fine. <laughs> All right, so Portsmouth, yeah? So Portsmouth. Okay, he sounded pretty sure, didn't he? Final answer. Portsmouth. It's the right answer. You've got £5,000. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't apologise. Don't apologise. Don't apologise. Don't apologise. Don't apologise. Okay. Right, you have £5,000. Now, how are you feeling? <laughs> Bewildered. <laughs> it's not been a good start, has it? No. You've got five grand. No. <laughs> You're three away from 50,000. You've still got a 50-50 there. Okay. Have a look at question number five. This is for £10,000. Which of these countries is a republic? <clears throat> Belgium, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Liechtenstein. Okay, uh, okay, Belgium has a king and queen. I'm not too sure about, is it Liechtenstein? Liechtenstein, Liechtenstein. Yeah. I'm not too sure, I've never heard of, I don't know about that one. Egypt, Egypt have kings and queens. Uh, I'm sure Saudi Arabia do as well. Steve, what are you thinking? Uh, this all sounds great. <laughs> so I know, but I, listen, this is just, <laughs> this is like before I'm just... Oh, you were right last time. No, but it's... Um... You could use 50-50 to get rid of two. Mm. OK, I think if we're not sure, let's go 50-50. OK, all right, we'll go with 50-50 and we want D to remain. OK, okay right, okay, computer. We'll Take away two random wrong answers. Leave Steve and Christine the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Oh! Oh, oh no. <laughs> Lichtenstein okay, no, has so... gone. All right, um... Egypt, I think. Which of these countries is a republic? Saudi Arabia or Egypt? Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It's KSA. So that helps. 
That's Egypt. Let's go with Egypt then. Yeah, you, you want to go with Egypt? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would have gone with Egypt as well, but. Okay. I'd... That's fine then. Let's go with Egypt. Final answer? Yeah, final answer. Okay, yeah. We'll go with Egypt. You just won ten thousand pounds. Now you have ten thousand pounds. You have no lifelines left. Question number six is worth twenty thousand pounds. Have a look at it. Tell us what you want to do. When the musical Cats closed in two thousand and two. For how many years had it been running in the West End? 10, 15, 21, 35. Yes. Cats, have you seen Cats? I haven't, but I know Les Miserables, that's the really long standing that's one, the isn't longest it? One. And I'd say that's how long you know, 35 years, that takes us back to 73. Okay. So try and work out one. So, so she had 35 was the longest run in. Mm -hmm. so I remember okay. my mum went to see cats. So we can cross out 35. D. And, and that would have been When did almost. your mum go? <laughs> Somewhere between 15 and 21 years ago. <laughs> I think if I had to go for one, I'd go for 21 years. You would? Yeah. You confident or? No, I just, just a bit just, of a guess. No. <laughs> I don't, I don't have, I don't have any idea. Maybe 21, if it was, if I had to go for one, yeah. yeah. All right, um, now we have to decide whether we're going to play or take them on. What do you think? I don't think you want to lose 9,000. No, neither do I. I mean... I'd love to answer this question right, but I think we're just going... going on guesswork and... Let's leave it then. You're, you, you don't feel good about it. That's no, fine. It's, I, think, it's, I think we should leave it there, because 10,000, that's... that's great for those charities, and... Um, let's just leave it there. All right, OK, we'll take the money. Yeah. Final go. answer. Yeah. Oh, give a big hand. They go away! <laughs> With ten thousand pounds, you know what I'm going to do, don't you? Cats closed on its twenty-first birthday. The right answer was twenty-one. Oh well, we didn't know. We could do... give a big hand. Ten thousand pounds. And the celebrity bandwagon rolls on as we bring you more showbiz millionaire next here on Challenge. Then we're talking guffaws and giggles in eight out of ten cats. Following that, Williams and his teams are in rude health in Wall of Fame.